La Fontaine's Fables, The Wolf and the Hunter. Fury to accumulate, monster of whose eyes. Look at as one point all the blessings of the god. Will I fight you in vain in this work? What time do you ask to follow my lessons? Man, deaf to my voice as to that of the sage. Will he never say, that's enough, let's enjoy? Hurry up, my friend, you don't have so much to live. I'll give you that word, because it's worth a whole book. Come on. I will. But when? Starting tomorrow. A. My friend, death can take you along the way. Enjoy today, fear a similar fate. To the hunter and wolf of my fable. The first of his bow had put down a suede. A dauphin passes, and suddenly there he is. Companion of the deceased, both lie on the grass. The prey was honest, a suede with a fawn. Any modest hunter would have been happy with it. However a wild boar, huge and superb monster. Try again our archer, fond of such pieces. Another resident of Styx, the parquet and its scissors. Hardly bided there, the hellish goddess. Resumed several times the hour to the fatal monster. Of the force of the blow yet he fell down. That was enough property. But what? Nothing fills. The vast appetites of a conquest maker. In the time that the pork returns to oneself, the archer. Sees along a furrow a partridge walking. More tritive to the other heads. With his bow, however, he stripes the springs. The wild boar, recalling the remains of his life. Comes to him, decuds him, dies avenged on his body. And the partridge thanks him. This part of the story is addressed to the coveted. The Met will have the rest of the example for him. A wolf lives, by the way, this pitiful spectacle. O oh fortune, he said, I promise you a temple. Four bodies extended. Only goods. But yet. We have to spare them, these meetings are rare. So Avrik apologize. I will have it, said the wolf, for a month, though. One, two. Three, four bodies, four weeks. If I can count, all full. Let's start in two days, and let's eat though. The rope of this bow, we must have made it. True gut, the smell testifies to me enough. By saying these words, he throws himself. On the bow that relaxes, and makes sag it. A new death, my wolf has his guts pierced. I'm coming back to my text. We must enjoy it. Witness these two gluttons punished with a common fate. The lust loss one. The other perished by avarice, 